Introducing your host and narrator of this video, Alexa Pellerin! She is a national worldwide sensation. She has won many, many, many awards. She is kind of a big deal. She is known over every city and every landmark in this nation. She acts confident on the outside, but on the inside, she's secretly hoping everybody likes her and wants validation okay, okay, from no, everyone she comes that's in good. contact with. She's working okay. on it though. We get it. Thank you so much for that introduction. Um, so this video is a fun one. I'm taking you guys right to the scene in Texas where my childhood best friend had her wedding. Why are you talking like a news anchor? Honestly, I don't know. So basically we go to my um, childhood best friend's wedding in Texas and my cousin comes with me. So y'all are gonna see that journey unfold right now. Let's go. So here's me on the plane from California to my first stop in Texas. I'm having a little PA, what I like to call plane anxiety because the turbulence was horrible and the landing was terrible. Was like, people can make flying look glamorous and cute and fun, but absolutely not for me. I just had like a full meltdown because the turbulence was so bad. I still have anxiety right now and I have to get on another flight right now. Pray for me. I know we're not even far into the video at all yet, but I need to tell y'all what happened to me when I got on the second flight. Okay, so I took a flight from California to Texas, had a layover, and then I had to get on another plane to go to College Station. Because the first night in Texas, I was going to meet my cousin who lives in College Station because she's going to the wedding with me. The second plane is literally, like it looks like a toy plane because it's so small. And I was freaking out because I've never been on a plane that small. Like literally it was one row of seats. They were like this close together. It's raining and I'm just like, holy shit, y'all. We land in College Station. This was only like a 40 minute flight. So that, it wasn't very long, which was good. But we land in College Station. Keep in mind, I've been traveling the entire day. Already had bad turbulence, already had all these things with the flights that was freaking me out. We land in College Station, okay? It's nighttime. And the, the pilot's like, he goes, he literally comes on the um, speaker and goes, Well, good news is we landed. But bad news is we can't get off the plane yet because it's lightning outside. First of all, I'm like, well, hell yeah, that's good news we landed because there was there another option? They have us out in the middle of this airport, like, runway thing. It is raining outside so bad. The lightning is like striking everywhere. And their rule was we cannot get off of the plane until lightning doesn't strike for 15 minutes because there was like no coverage or something over the airport. So bitch, I'm on a flight. My phone has been dead for hours. I have no phone and I'm just on board with like 40 strangers and we're just all chilling. We're like, okay, cool. We literally can't get off this plane. And we're thinking, oh, you know, it'll be like a little bit of a layover, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes if we're gonna push it. Bitch, I'm on this plane. Bitch, I'm on this plane. For two hours. Two, two hours. hours, bro. I'm not making it up. I had to literally get the flight attendant's cell phone and text my cousin. It was just a big mess. So by the time I land, I'm like, girl, I am just ready to like, I need to relieve some stress. Like I was out in, in a plane for two hours, held captive. It was, it was crazy. So my cousin texted the flight attendant's phone and she, she sent me a picture of a cac the Cactus Jack, like Travis Scott drinks. And she was like, I got one of these from the gas station for you when you get here. So I was like, girl, yes, let's turn up tonight. Say, what's a girl gotta do to get a drink around here? around here. <laughs> no, for real though, like what do I need to do? <laughs> do your I will do it! Nothing's more Texas than a rattlesnake in a bar. He looks pissed. Yeah. I would be. He's, he's I a would be. Drunk yeah, no, fuck that shit. And everyone comes and looks at him. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm getting the hell out of here. It honestly gives me like anxiety to be in this bar whenever knowing that thing's in here. Successful Northgate experience. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> Hello. Currently in College Station at my cousin's apartment. Look how freaking cute. Last night, me and Addison sat on this balcony right here, literally till like 4 a.m. and people were outside doing straight up donuts, like burning actual rubber. 
in the street. Okay, so now we're actually leaving College Station and heading to Fort Worth where my friend's wedding is. So that's about, I think it was like two or three hours away. I think it was like three hours away, I think. I don't know. But this is us on the way to Fort Worth to go to our hotel to stay there for the weekend for the wedding. Can I get two corn dogs? It's five. Me and Addison right now. <laughs> Do you remember when I got put on that um, hit list in like fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I told a dude no. I told a dude no in like fourth grade. I didn't want to date him. Put in my hat list. And he threatened to literally kill you? Yep. What time does it get dark around here? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never give a fuck. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're those little scrim from like, like all the molly you take, but I never said that. Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. Oh. Oh. I get high, I do smoke all day. We only have 52 minutes left. This is pretty much Texas in all of its glory right here, baby. Uh, we got pretty much nothing going on here. We got Addison washing the car. Oh, hey girl. I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. I believe I can fly. Sorry I don't treat you like a goddess. Now what you want. We're just out here living life in the moment, bro. Oh, fuck. This is our album cover. I'm down, you're up. Let's go. It's really exhausting always having paparazzi follow me everywhere I go. And I'm not trying to be rude, I just need some privacy. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome to our gas station haul. First we, first, we have, first we have life water. This is your water. I got it for you. Oh, thank you. Next up we have karma wellness water. I just wanted Why to give her a try. Why didn't you give me that one? So I didn't know if you would like you it. You don't want me to have car no, karma and wellness? Do you like this kind of stuff? I don't, what is Passion it? Passion fruit, <gasps> green tea. Oh, I, I, I want to try it. Ooh, look at that sunset. Turn the camera around, show them. It's golden hour. Cotton candy skies. <laughs> I am a big idea. So what, I'm a cinematic photographer. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> so what, I'm a cinematic photographer. So what, I'm a creative genius. I don't like to brag about it, okay? God put me here, what can I say? Nobody can get these shots like I can. So <laughs> don't ever disrespect my name again. You're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute, that tiny statue. This is it, this is it. Oh, hell yeah. I hope We're staying at the Omni. Okay, we got room 744. Okay, looks like we're on a business trip. And girl boss, I waited the top. Are you with me? Dude, this is nice. Is it beautiful? She's cute. Check the glass. Yeah, it's pretty stable. Oh, they have a magnifying mirror so I can see all of my flaws that I don't have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got a lot of flaws, bitch. It's literally 9.30 p.m. We just got to the hotel. We're getting ready to go out. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I'll drink to that. Yeah, yeah. A night out on the town. Cue the Let's iPhone go. footage. Okay, so obviously we're having a great time living our best life. Um, we met up with my cousin Addison's friends there at that place that we were just at, and we just had a good night with them. So they invited us back to go to their house. They were like, oh, y'all should come back to our place and like hang out when we leave here. So me and Addison were like, yeah, let's do it. Like we're down. So we Ubered there. So we show up there and she's like, oh, they stopped to get food. So they're not here yet. So they told us to just like wait for them and they'll be here soon. So me and Addison are in the driveway and we thought it was her friend's driveway, but it turns out we were in the wrong driveway. So this footage you're about to see right now is me and Addison in a random person's driveway that we thought was her friend's. We literally don't know this neighborhood. We don't know these people's, like we don't know whose house we're at. And looking back, I'm like, dude, this is hella sketchy. Thank God we were good. Dallas Fort Worth, baby. 
Well, you said your friends lived here, but they're not here. Well, I think they're on their way. I think. We are 30 minutes away from our hotel, but it's fine. Why are we not at our hotel right now? Yes. Where are they at? Okay, okay, we still on the way. If you see my car, Ford Explorer with an AM sticker, you can see on the sports. Okay. Ford Explorer with an AM sticker. Oh, Ford Explorer with an AM sticker. What's a Ford Explorer? What time is like? it? 2.37 a.m. Ford Explorer with an AM sticker. What the fuck's a Ford Explorer? Yeah, so then her friends ended up pulling up and it was the house right across the street. So we went over there, hung out, and then we went back to our hotel. Yeah, this shit's not funny. <laughs> I literally bought Cetaphil specifically to wash my face with. I go to wash my face oh right God, now. Tears. Yeah, we look crazy. I just went to, I put water all over my face. I went to wash my face with the <laughs> travel size Cetaphil that I bought. <laughs> it was actually moisturizer, <laughs> not even face wash. Okay, make a video. Okay. She's a runner, she's a track star. She gon' run away when it gets hard. She can't take the pain, she can't get scarred. You know what? Are we still filming? Yep. Water Fresh face. It's 5 o'clock in the morning for some reason. We got Waterburger. We're back at the hotel. Oh my god, I makeup. Okay, love you, bye. Just the way you are. The hotel has robes, which is the most clutch thing. Okay, here's the thing. Addison's gonna order room service. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Last night was so fun. We literally danced our ass off. Like, I danced so much. I haven't went out anywhere and like been around people in like a group setting like that in like so long. But yeah, dude, last night was so fun. And my forehead's breaking out, but that's okay. So that's the... This has been like a three day, just me and Addison <laughs> turning up. My hair color looks good. That's good. I just got my hair done before I came here. So I got it cut and it looked so cute whenever she fixed it. Like, but I don't think I can fix it like that. So I'm like, what the frick am I supposed to do? Like I got these layers and they're so cute when they like are blow dried right. But I don't know how to do it. So yeah, basically today all we're doing, well not all we're doing. Literally the reason we're here is to go to this wedding. And the wedding is tonight at 5.30. It's like 5.30 to 10.30 and then I don't know what we're doing after that. See y'all when we're ready. We look like we're going to a funeral, but we're going to a wedding. We're just gonna have to vlog on the phone because there's no damn way I'm bringing this camera. Like that is so awkward. Like everyone's married with kids and I'm vlogging. Mm -hmm. Our Lyft driver, Robert, is waiting for us. <gasps> He's coming. Dude, we're getting picked up in a Tesla. Like, is that my bestie in a Tesla? Why is he coming in a Tesla? We have five minutes, okay, love you, bye. Is that my bestie in a Tesla? We don't know who to talk to, so we're just talking to each other. And the camera. Everyone else is married with kids and I have a YouTube channel. What the fuck is good? <laughs> My release ends in two months and I don't have a job or a place to live. <laughs> <laughs> hey. We're in our 20s with no plan. Hey. We hope things work out. At least hey. we're hot. <laughs> yeah, even though it doesn't make me any money. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, so here's some footage of us at the wedding, and honestly, I want to get a little vulnerable with y'all real quick, because to be honest, going to this wedding, I had so much anxiety beforehand, and I know it sounds really dumb, but um, I'm from Texas, I grew up with a lot of these people, and I haven't seen a lot of them in years. Like, I haven't seen some of these people since high school, so I did not know what to expect. You know, it's different whenever you've all grown up and you've all kind of went separate ways, and you're thinking in your head, like comparing yourself to people and where you are in your life versus where they are in their life. And honestly, it turned out to be such a fun night. I honestly just had the best time catching up with everyone. And it's weird because so many people that I saw, it's like we never didn't see each other. We kind of just picked up where we left off and it was fun to see where everybody was in their lives. And I just think it's important for us to remember that we're all on our different unique journeys. And I don't mean to make this cheesy or whatever, but talking to everybody just made me realize there's not one specific path and your life does not have to look like anybody else's life as long as you're happy and following what you want to do that's all that matters but yeah the wedding was really fun and i'm so happy for Brittany and macon they are the cutest freaking couple y'all okay after that sweet little heartfelt moment that i just gave y'all we're about to cut right back to the hotel after the wedding where we are lit once again this is live footage right after the wedding we are a little bit lit a bro Guys, everyone that I've met tonight and that I've known for 12 years, they have kids. This is my villain 
origin story. <laughs> Why haven't I found love? Everyone I talk to is going through a divorce. I'm not even that drunk. It's just like I'm playing into the character. What does that even mean? <laughs> Did you spray perfume? Because I'm literally eating it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sucking it into my lungs. Yes, I did. did you just spray perfume? Yes. Why is it so fucking strong? I don't know. <laughs> like I'm breathing it in instead of oxygen. Like imagine trying to breathe and you thought it was oxygen, but it was Ariana Grande. <laughs> it was Ariana Grande's perfume. <laughs> Okay, so we changed clothes and then we went and met up with everybody in the hotel because we all stayed at the same hotel. In the Uber. Okay. I just called Cody an Uber. It's an Uber XL. No. Wait, to no. where, bro? I'm serious. She cannot get in. Carissa, FaceTime Carissa. Oh, hey, Carissa. Hey, What's Carissa, up? We're trying to be famous, too. If you want to come here to the Omni. <laughs> vape life. Famous. Carissa, the vape god. The famous. Brittany, you're married, bro. Beach, I'm married. You're married. This is Mrs. Newcomer in the house. Carissa, Cambry, I miss you. I love you. It's literally a video on my phone. But Send it to him. Not even gonna lie, it was just one of those nights where you're just like, bro, how does one thing go from like one thing to another? And we end up walking through the hotel and we find this like back staircase. I don't even know where we were, but for some reason I'm vlogging in, in it. Where are we? The next day. This is the aftermath. I have no voice. That's fine. Me neither. I think my voice is going away too. We've reached the end of the journey. Yes, we are on our way to the airport about eight minutes away. Got Sonic for the one last time. Oh yeah? Damn, you never got to have Dairy Queen. My voice is gone. Mine's leaving me. It Apparently. was a fun time. Fun time. We feel like we've been together for a week and Dude, traveling the world. I feel like we've been together for like a month. And, and it's been like four days. Yeah, I feel like we've been all over Texas. <laughs> we went one place. We partied in every town. We partied in every city across the globe. <laughs> Dude, I wish we could get paid to just like go. Do this? I'm gonna start travel vlogging. Okay, I look like shit. Bye. Hey, did you know that some YouTubers travel vlog and they use that on their tax return? <laughs>